Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Coding Cut. So in our previous session we have discussed the center, L just and R just function from the string. So on the basis of these three functions, we will try to solve one hacker rank problem from the topic string. So the problem is text alignment. So you can see here they have covered a few example of L just, center and R just function from the string. So on the basis of these three functions, they have given one task to perform. So you can see here the task is you are given a partial code that is used for generating a hacker rank logo of variable thickness. So your task is to replace this blank with L just, R just or center function. So you can see here we have to generate this hacker rank logo. For this they have given a partial code. We just have to replace this with a suitable L just, R just or center function as per the required output. So let us try to solve this one. So the very first is the top cone. You can see here this is my top cone. So how to print this one? So let us copy this one and experiment in our own editor. Copy and paste here. Now here they have taken thickness as 5. And my C value is capital S. Okay. Now to generate the output as this top cone, you can see here. We want to generate up to this much. This much top cone. So if you see this printf function, it is a combination of three strings. The very first one is from here to c into y into thickness this one this is the second which is constant which is being added each time and this is the third string so this is the combination of s1 s2 and s3 three string where s2 is constant which is s all the time so if you see here here the thickness into thickness minus one means the width is four four unit space in both the string means this will be of width four and again this will be of total width four okay now you can see here I is iterating from 0 to thickness means 0 to 4 and the very first this c into y means h into 0 this will be space for i equal to 0 this one will be space here i is iterating from 0 to 1 3 and i equal to 4 and here string is c into i so for this one this will be my space for second one this will be my h this will be my 2h for 3 there will be 3h and the 4 there will be 4h and for each iteration we have a 4 unit space this is my constant 1 unit Now, these all are four unity space. So, not here. So, if you see here, this the middle string is this this middle character is fixed for me. So, I have to just have a look over here. For the very first, I is space. Again, this side also is space. Now for i equal to 1, I have one character and the rest are space. Means if I apply here r just, so this is my character. If I replace this with a space and this is my character, suppose h, it looks like same. This is my h and the rest are space. Again for i equal to 2, I have 2 h and rest the 2 unit are space. For i equal to 3, I have 3h and rest 1 unit is space. And for i equal to 4, I have 4h over here. So, 
if I apply R just for this string and L just for the third string, it will work. So if I apply here R just R just function here and L just over here, L just function here, so it will work. So for i equal to 0, I have space. So this will be space. For i equal to 1, I have 1 h. So for r just it will be here and s2 is being added. So h will be added here and again here I have used l just. So for l just I have my character over here and rest will be space. Again for i equal to 2, I have 2 h over here and have a l just and this s2 is my constant h. This is my constant. For i equal to 3, we have 3h three and here also 3. For i equal to 4, the 4 unit space will be filled with h. This is the s2 constant h and this one will be r just means l just. So it looks like I have a created a cone. If you see here, it seems like I have created a cone. So we are done with the very first cone so let us write this logic here so if i replace this one with r just and this is with l just not last but just so you can see here we have got the cone so we are done with this cone top cone now let me replace this one with R just and this one with L just not last but just now the second one is top pillar this up to this much top pillar so let us again copy this one and first run it in our editor so for the top pillar you can see here it is a combination of only two string this one and second one is this one now if you look at the width the width of the first string is thickness into 2 means 10 unit and here it is a 30 unit means my second part the very first string is of 10 unit and the second one is of 30 unit this one is a 30 unit now i have to generate my output like if you see here the very first two byte is space and my string and my string is of size see here for the top pillar c into thickness again here c into thickness means it is a constant of c into thickness the thickness is having value 5 so 5 length of 5 my string length is 5 so you can see here for the both we have 5 unit and 5 unit string length so we have to print over here so if i apply here a center function for the 10 unit space for the 10 unit space from initial to here if i just apply a center function so from here to till here the very first string will be in a center giving this pillar and for this one a length of 30 byte if you see here again if i apply a center function here so this will give me a second pillar so if you see here for this 10 unit my string is of size 5 now if i apply center function here center function here and center function here so this 5 5 length string will be filled in this 10 unit with a center so suppose it is present over here suppose here so this will be space out so and again in 30 units i have to fill this string of length 5 
saying value h suppose in a middle suppose this will be my h value so it look like if i combine s1 and s2 it look like i am having value of 5 you need this one and a space and this is my h in a 30 unit space and it is being iterated five times so this looks like if i execute this five times let me give it here only three times it looks like we are done with the second pillar so let us write the code if i apply just center function here and center function here from this one so you can see here we are done with the top pillar so we are done with this top pillar now the third one is now let me replace this with center and this one with center Now the third one is middle belt, this one, this one. So middle belt is quite simple. You can see here. It look very simple, but let us copy and execute here. So it's a combination of only single string. You can see here, where the string is a thickness into 5 means 25 so this total length is 25 now and the width is width size is 30 width size is 30 so if you see here from here to here if I calculate 30 bytes my string length is 25 and suppose this is my 2 byte and this is my 3 byte means my string is present in the center so if I apply simply a center function here so it will print my middle belt you can see here it is working middle belt was quite simple so let me simply apply center function here now for the the fourth one is bottom pillar this one it seems like the same as top function means top pillar same as top pillar so again we'll simply copy that code here simply apply center function and center function here let us copy here and check here So it is working now we are done with the bottom pillar now the last one is the bottom cone this one so how to generate this one let us experiment here yeah. so this is my last thing it is which is bottom cone so how to get if you see here if i try to print this one this cone over here and if i simply apply uh, l just means if you see here in a simple way if i try to print this cone as the way, as very first if i try to print this cone as this one not a proper cone so suppose I am printing the cone in my initial phase suppose this is the cone if I try to print this cone and I simply I apply L just on this cone if I apply L just so it will simply move here If I apply L just it will simply move here means if I try to 
generate this l just over here and simply means this cone over here and i simply apply l just not l just but r just r just if i generate this cone over here and on the whole cone if i simply apply r just it will simply move this side so we'll simply apply that logic but how to generate that cone before applying the r just so for that let us do the experiment over here so you can see here it is the combination of so we are done with this at last we have to apply simply r just to move that cone on the right side now we have to first execute this code this one so it is the combination of if you see here this is the combination of one string two and three means it is the combination of three string as the earlier this one so if i apply the same logic here as the previous top cone if i simply apply r just here r just for the very first string this is my constant and for the last one if i simply apply l just so let me copy this one now let me execute this one so you can see here we have got this cone now if i apply r just on this whole cone if i simply apply r just dot r just on the whole cone of the thickness how much uh, total space will be 5 into 6 30 a 30 unit space will be taken means a 30 unit space will be taken here a 30 unit space will be taken and if i apply simply r just so a total string will be moved here r just suppose this is my string length so it looks like the cone has been moved to the end so let me execute this one so you can see here on the whole cone if i simply apply this r just it seems like it has moved to the right so we will simply apply this logic so here we will simply apply r just for the this is the constant middle string and for this we will apply l just and on the whole cone this here my cone is formed and on the whole cone i will simply apply r just to move it right side now we are done with the full code we have completed the partial code now let us run this code so you can see here we are done with the sample test case so let me submit this code so congratulations we are done with the all hidden test cases so if you like this video please do give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next session thanks for watching